Let's talk about the truth about negative home equity headlines. Hi, I'm Darren Dowling, team lead of the Dowling Group at Beyond Realty. Let's jump into it. Home equity has been a hot topic in real estate news lately. And if you've been following along, you may have heard there's a growing number of homeowners with negative equity, but don't let those headlines scare the bejesus out of you. In truth, the headlines don't give you all the information you really need to understand what's happening and at what scale. So let's break down one of the big equity stories you may be seeing in the news and what's actually taking place. That way you'll have the context you need to understand the big picture. Headlines focus on short-term equity numbers and fail to convey the long-term view. One piece of news circulating focuses on the percentage of homes purchased in 2022 that are currently underwater. The term underwater refers to a scenario where homeowners owe more on the loan than the house is worth. This was a huge issue when the housing market crashed in 2008, but it's much less of a significant issue today. Media coverage right now is based loosely on a report from Black Knight Inc. The actual report from that source says, quote, of all homes purchased with a mortgage in 2022, 8% are now at least marginally underwater and nearly 40% have less than 10% equity stakes in their home. So let's unpack that for a hot moment and provide a bigger picture. The data bound report from Black Knight is talking specifically about homes purchased in 2022, but media headlines don't always mention that time frame or provide surrounding context about how unusual of a year 2022 was for the housing market. In 2022, home price appreciation soared and it reached its max around March to April. Since then, the rate of appreciation has been slowing down. Homeowners who bought their house last year right at the peak or those who paid more than market value in the months that followed are more likely to fall into the category of being marginally underwater. The qualifier marginally is another key piece of the puzzle that the media isn't necessarily including in their coverage. So. What does that mean for those who purchased a home in 2022? It's important to remember, owning a home is a long-term investment, not a short-term play. When the headlines focus on a short-term view, they're not necessarily providing the full context. So technically speaking, the longer you stay in your home, the more equity you gain as you pay down your loan. And as home prices appreciate, with recent market conditions, you may not have gained significant equity right away if you owned a home for just a few months. But it's also true that many homeowners who recently brought their house are unlikely to be looking to sell quite yet. Ladies and gentlemen, here's the bottom line. As with everything, knowing the context is so important. If you have questions about real estate headlines or about how much equity you have in your home, let's connect and figure that out and get those questions answered. That's all we've got time for today. So as always, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you next week.